we've come out very fortunate. Um, a lot of times a, a bamboo, you know, jungle start like that, uh, you can have a hard time finding cattails and you can have a hard time finding clay. So having both here has definitely made life a better place to be. All right, I'm going to eat just one of these roots. A little bit of food back, and I need to make fresh knives here. So we're going to shift right click twice, get to our knife blade. Because my knife is about to give up the ghost here. Right, I'm at two bars, but that's enough for me to continue to go out and collect what's close. Yep, well, I've got the roots are in there, they're cooking, so you just come back and feed yourself when is appropriate. This knife I'm just going to toss down, and we'll make two fresh knife blades, or, well, two fresh knives, so that we've got one we can give to Ericeth, so she can continue workifying. And that guy there, and hello knife, there we go, that guy there. There's uh, three roots cooked in the fire. You should come munchify on those. I'll... I'm on my way back in just a minute. Yep. Keep those cooking. Let's look for the ones she's already harvested. Oh, over there. There we go. Uh, this is going to keep us fed to a basic level and more importantly it's going to allow us to expand our inventories oh here we go got one here this one okay All right, I, I have to go I back. need to throw you this knife okay I just go dropped ahead. it there you go because got it. That way I will pick up roots. My inventory was full. There we go. I'm going to start taking damage <laughs> again here in just a minute. Well, so I'm headed there... back to the fire to eat. Yep. Go ahead and just rock it. Get rid of that dry grass. And we'll we'll keep working on things over here. go and I've currently got one hunger chit but you go ahead and munch away get your get your food up blueberry bush oh yeah um so I I'm I've got two blueberries on my person what we really need to do is we need to get our baskets going so that we can carry some things. Because I can't pick up this blueberry bush. I'm on it. I'm on it right now. Okay. Well, if, once you've done that, if you want to come to me, there's a bunch more cattails over here and this blueberry bush. And... Um, Um, I'm going to eat one of these two blueberries. Good. So that I at least don't... Don't die? Don't die, yes. Yeah. And then... If you just follow my name tag over, hopefully you have a basket for me. Or you've got a basket for you. I have a basket for me, and I'm almost to a basket for you. I, if I cut the cattails right across here. Well, come over to me first. Please. Please, please, please. Okay, because number one, there's cattails here. And the blueberry bush is that right there in front of me. And there's another one on the other side of the tree that is blossoming. So it is harvestable. 
And we can take those home uh, and oh. plant them. And it it will be harvestable soon. Well, but harvestable I'll... as in you could pick it and take the bush home, not harvestable as in yes. the blueberries. But all right, so. Okay. So let me get these. Yeah. So I've gotta I've gotta get back and get some more roots in the fire so, so you get the tops so I can get the roots. She will harvest the tops, I will harvest the roots, and then we will get some baskets woven. 24 cattails will allow us to create a placeable basket. 10 cattails allow you to create a hand basket. Got one behind you here. <coughs> in the corner. Yep. Yeah. Give me just a quick second. I was making you a basket. Awesome. Well, I was kind of actually hoping to make the basket myself so people could see how the basket is made, but that's okay. Oh. If you give me a basket, well, I will then have and... room to start collecting cattails and roots. As... Tops, yeah. yeah, so that you can do one. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. I forgot you're the one with the recording stuff. So. That's okay. Here, um, here is enough. I'm dropping you enough to actually do a basket. Ah, awesome. Did you get one? Okay, there we go. So we've got 13 cattails, and I'll show you guys. What we do is we take the cattails, just left-click them in your hotbar. You can pick them right up. All right. And now right-clicking, I can drop them one at a time. And what we're going to do is create this arrangement right here and that will allow us to create a hand basket we take that hand basket put it down in the right side and you'll see there we go now we've got two more spots available and I've got 14 roots on me currently and we should also harvest flowers that we come across so we can take them back and plant them around our local area. I'm going to grab the cabinet yes. um, because we may, in the future, find bees. And if we do, we want to give those bees an awesome collection of flowers so that the hive grows and will split, and we can have some bees to go. But we got very lucky. How many hand baskets do you want? Well, eventually, I'd like to have you know. Obviously, the full complement of four, but um, I've got two, and of course, we should we should save the materials to make at least one, you know, placeable basket. Yes. But I am headed back to our fire so that I can get these roots in the fire because I am down to one chit of food here. swim back across and we're still in our safe time we've got probably one more day maybe two more days before mobs start to show so there we go there are 10 cooked cattails already in the fire um, I'm going to eat and then we're gonna need to cut some more wood here so that we can keep the fire going There we go. Now we are much closer to a full food bar. And we need to, let's, we got to make another axe is what we need to do. Shift, right click, right click, and axe head. There we go. We're just going to nap that out. Now hopefully when we've got some daylight, we'll be able to locate and hunt some animals. There we go. So let's go. What is that? Oh, that's that catman. All right. And there we go. I hear a baby pig, but I haven't heard any adult pigs yet. 
Alright, well, let's come on over here and cut another tree. Got one over here we can do. Cut this birch. I'm really excited that we found those berry bushes. Yes, yes. I agree wholeheartedly. Um, and let's also cut this capoc over here. Now, um, one of the things that... Yeah, two days before monsters appear. One of the things that we can do is we can use birch oak real common logs to carve pans that are used to pan gravel and sand in order to find copper and all kinds of interesting stuff. But I'm just going to get a good pile of wood going here while she's cutting the cattails. So that we can keep them cookifying. Now, how's your hunger bar looking, my darling? Um, I have eight of twelve. All right. I got a couple of these birch logs for you. I have 12 firewood for you. All right. We're just going to feed the fire. For the moment, I'm Now done. I have... Yes, yes. I have, I have three hand baskets right now, and I have 14 um, cattails. So if you want me to make you a third hand basket and toss it to you now, I can do that. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss you these. There we go. And, um, let's see here. There are 18 cattail roots cooking in the fire. Mm hmm I have two baskets currently, and you have two baskets currently? I have three. You have three, so, yeah, if you would make me another basket, that would be awesome, but... That leaves us, that leaves us seven. Mm-hmm. And I think then the thing to do is in the morning to see about getting enough cattails to make at least one placeable basket. Um, there you go. Awesome. So now we have expanded our crafting grid fairly well. I am going to actually do, while I'm thinking about it, now that we've got a little room to store and we've got this lovely birch log here, is we are going to make a couple of wooden panning pans. Panny pan pan. That way, um, we will be able to pan for minerals in the near future. All right. So, I have got a little more wood we can convert into firewood here. Let's go ahead and do that. I think we should cut a little bit inland and go to those lakes that are there and collect reeds from there. Let's see here. Ah, yes, she, okay, so these, these little lakes are what she's talking about. So you can see this kind of emerald green here, this darker stuff, is the stuff where we are going to locate more cattails. Um, it also gives us the possibility of locating some wild boar, which would certainly be awesome to start collecting hides for uh, making backpacks. Alright. Get some of these things rearranged. Is that you splashing around out there? Yeah, that's me. Okay. While I wait for the roots to cook. All right. Well, I Cause... am completely hunger bar full, and there are currently four cooked cattail roots available, and okay. 11 more that are cooking. Well, I will leave the roots that are back there. For right now. I'm just going to 
stack up this firewood right here by our cooking fire so that I get a few slots open in my inventory get our spear there um, so we've got our axe, our spear, our shovel, and a knife um, my mom got her sticks up there but yeah, I agree that taking taking the time we've got right now to go inland a little bit to look for more cattails would be a good idea if you come back to the fire there are I'm more coming. cattails done and you should be able to top off your food bark and I've got four in my inventory that are cooked so it means help yourself to those that are that are cooking my food bar is full I've got four in my inventory we can at least sustain ourselves for a brief amount of time here right that's got me to 10 of 12 well oh I'm gonna need a munch those get yourself all, all the way up to 12 of 12 that did it all right that leaves me with two in my inventory um, there are six yet to cook how many do you have in your inventory zero you got one in your hand no I just ate it really because I see one in your mm -hmm. hand are you sure are you sure eh? Eh? I'm sure are you holding my hand are you empty holding? okay I'm just giving you a hard time um well then um, tell you what I will grab one that right there now I've got four of them and there are five that are sorting themselves out there are some more roots in that this lake that's close I just grabbed the tops okay it's up to you whether you want to grab roots I mean I'm Okay, I know we well, need to if, if you, save some yeah, for yes if you would if you would hold on to your horses Okay. Um, I'm going to set this up to finish cooking these remaining roots. Make sure I've got a little bit of firewood on my person. Grab one piece of dry grass to ensure we can start a fire. And then I will catch up with you and we, okay. we can head inland a little bit. I just don't want you to get too far ahead of me because you're moving into territory where there could be hyenas or wolves. I know. I'm actually swimming out to the middle of the lake here, because... I see a bunch on this... Like, out in the middle of the water. Okay, I'm catching up with there you. There are no wolves out in the middle of the water. There are no hyenas out in the middle of the water, so... <laughs> Catching up with you now. Okay. Okay. I will get the roots. All right. There are some over here on the shore that I saw. Okay. Clay over on this bank too, so we've got plenty of clay around us. That's a good. That's a good thing. Yep. 